What's cracking, peeps? It's the A Train coming back at you with another episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. In honor of the A Train catching some monster bass this weekend, I'm gonna show you guys some love. So I'm bringing you the big baits. So to start off, we got Matt Lures. This is the Meathead. So it's a wake bait, beautiful craftsmanship. Now this is a wake bait. When those fish are want those big prey up near the surface, this is definitely the way to go. It's a wake bait, so it's not gonna dive on you. You give these little uh, pauses, you could dead stick it, but just a nice steady retrieve. It's gonna wake on the surface and it's definitely gonna get you bit. 3D eyes, super strong clear coat, so it's gonna take a lot of abuse, but it's gonna keep that pretty little finish on you for you. So the meathead, definitely check it out. Next by Matt Lures, we got the 10 inch hammer tail trout. So with all those uh, tournaments in California being one on those big swim baits, this is definitely one for you. 10 inches long, the ultimate in realism. You can't tell the difference between a real trout and this thing. The tail is super thick, but just with a steady reel, you're gonna get so much kick, so much commotion out of this thing. It's gonna draw the big girls in. You're definitely gonna get bit. It's a lot of bait, so I definitely recommend a stinger hook on this, just in case you get those tail biters. Your hookup ratio will definitely go up. So definitely give this bait a shot. You're gonna get bit, I promise you. Also by Matt Lures, we got the seven inch hammer tail shad. We have them in gizzard and threadfin shad. So anywhere those big shad reign supreme in your local uh, ponds or lakes, this is definitely gonna get bit. This bait is so real. If you try and eat this thing, you're, man, you're gonna get hooked. It, it looks that real. Beautiful finish. That hammer tail is gonna cause all kinds of commotion, all kinds of vibration. So they're definitely gonna swarm in on this bait and get you bit. So definitely the hammer tail shad, check it out. Next by Rowdy Lures, we got the Rowdy Buzz Bait. You have to see the video or even tie one of these on just to see how loud this thing is. This thing is almost like an Evinrude E-Tech outboard coming through the water. Very loud, so what happens is this blade's gonna knock off the head right there. It makes the squeakiest, loudest noise. It's gonna draw fish from a distance. Even in dirty water, even at nighttime, you're definitely gonna get bit on this thing. Definitely, you need a good, noisy, squeaky buzz bait, check out Rowdy, get Rowdy with them. Next, by Wild Lures Japan, we got the Wild Beat Glide Bait. So when I first saw this thing, I'm like, where the hell's the tail, the fins at? But they did that on purpose. So now you don't have to worry about your bait getting weathered, so using your tail to corrode, the fins come up missing, and your glide bait just doesn't work the same. So he took all that out and just got a bait you could work at any speed. You could work this thing slow or fast. When you see this thing in motion, you're definitely gonna become a believer. It does have a real thin profile, but the action is so superb, it's gonna definitely overlook that. So you want a new look on a glide bait? This is definitely the one you wanna check out. Next, by Spro, we got the Wamiku. Very sharp hooks, trust me. So what's unique about this thing is, unlike other Spro lipless baits, it's got a different pitch to it. A Little different sound. What's also unique about it, it's got two line ties to it. One in the front, one in the back. One for working super shallow. The other one's gonna get you down a lot deeper. So you definitely want a different look, uh, almost like a dual purpose lipless crankbait. You definitely wanna check this out. Wamiku by Spro. Next by Picasso, we got the Picasso Shock Blade Heavy Cover. This right here is the loudest vibrating jig I have ever came across. You throw this thing, you could hear the vibrations through your rod actually, it is very loud. I was throwing this thing in muddy water, fish were literally grabbing it at the boat so they could track this thing. So much turbulence this kicks out and the reason for that is the head is tungsten. So this blade, it's gonna knock off the head every rotation basically, creating so much noise, so much vibration, so much turbulence. Also we got these three titanium wires so that's gonna aid you in going through a lot of heavier covers where you just can't get normal vibrating jigs through. Great hook keeper, so your plastic a choice as a trailer on this thing, but um, this actually brings a whole new dimension to uh, um, vibrating jigs. I strongly recommend you, you check this one out. You're definitely gonna get bit just like the A-Train has been, so check that out by Picasso. Next by TH Marine, we got the G-Force Coal System Generation 2. So people got fed up with puncturing the holes under, um, under your fish after you catch them. Uh, coaling, the bass have a big gaping hole, so this completely eliminates that. So quick and easy, just a little pinch here, goes around the lip. So now your fish aren't gonna have those holes, anything. 
These balls are replaceable, so you can add them to whatever cold systems you need to. Definitely a safer alternative for your fish. We want to conserve our resources. Also comes with the balance beam also. And um, it's just the best way to go. I even switched over to this. So um, save your fish, don't stress them out. The G-Force uh, Generation 2 cold system, give it a shot. Next, due to popular demand, the original Palmax rod. These are my favorite rods. They've been fish I've been fishing these for some time now. These were in such demand, they had no choice but to bring them back. So these rods are very responsive. There is a rod for every technique you enjoy doing. If you like flipping, if you like throwing uh, lipless, the sky's the limit with these rods. Uh, super lightweight, so much backbone on these things. You swing like the A-Train, this is definitely the rod you want to have in your arsenal. So definitely give these a shot. Palmax is back. Thanks for tuning in and for more information on the product seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's episode, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let the A-Train know which of these products you're most pumped about. Next, I don't remember the name of this <laughs> Next by Spro, we got the Wabiku. Ah, shit. A <laughs> lot of action on these rods. Work your favorite baits. That sucked. Yeah. Ooh, sharp hooks, yes. Don't get bit. <laughs> I just got bit. <laughs> <laughs>